In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can supercharge your writing using Perplexity AI and Claude Sonnet. Now, this is the process in which you can use to write the highest quality, most up-to-date factual articles using these two tools. And I'll be trying to use both of the free versions so it actually doesn't cost you anything to write these articles. So number one is obviously we're going to use Perplexity AI. And we're going to first start by um, searching some information on Perplexity. If you haven't used Perplexity AI, essentially it is an AI powered Google search. So we can search up things such as best credit cards. And that is going to give us a list of credit cards or information about this specific topic. Now, the main difference, as you can see, between Google and Perplexity AI is that once we search something up on Perplexity, it will actually take all of the most trusted information and put it into one place. So it's much easier, much more user friendly to actually get information. So as you can see here, we get a bunch of information here. We can actually, if we scroll down, we get some related questions, kind of like how Google is. But again, we're able to get um, answers directly based upon our query. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to now expand on this information. And again, as you can see, I am using the free version, so I'm not using the pro version as yet because um, I wanted to see how much information we would be able to get. So we're getting some information here about top credit cards, rewards, cashback, newcomers, annual fees, da da da, perks, choosing. Okay. So right now, let's say we have about maybe 500 words. So we can certainly use this information to write our article. But if you want to, again, I can tell it to, I can either ask a related question here or expand on this again. What I'm doing here, I'm just trying to find as much information as I can about this specific topic. As you can see, now it's going into actual credit cards and so forth. So this is what I would do to first do our initial research. And then once we get our information, then we can use this information to prompt Claude to write the full article. As you can see, we're getting a lot of information that's really, really good, very up-to-date information and factual. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just copy over all of this. So I'm going to copy over information on the actual cards and I'm going to copy over information that was general to this specific search term. So now I'm going to take this information and let's remove this and paste that into Claude. Now I'm going to tell Claude to write a full article. I've told this to use the information provided. I want you to write a full in-depth SEO optimized article. The target keyword is best credit cards of 2024. I want you to use this information in the headers, titles, H1s, H2s, and naturally in the article, along with other relevant keywords, include lists, tables, charts, write a markdown, aim for 2000 words. Do not plagiarize, write in an informative and engaging right so we've prompted the ai so now it's going to take that information and write us a full article so you don't necessarily have to create an outline first and then use that information to then create the actual full article um, as you can see here we're already giving it a lot of information so it should be able to give us a pretty decent output i don't necessarily recommend using the chat mode i actually recommend using the api console in the back end i find that you're able to get much better content so if you don't um, necessarily want to use the chat mode, I would recommend using the API console. It actually works out to be a little bit cheaper, in my opinion, because $25 on API cost is actually much less compared to $25 per month if you were to pay for the actual um, Claude Pro. So now that we have our article, I'm going to copy it over. We're just going to convert it into HTML to make sure everything is good here. And as you can see, everything looks good credit cards and so forth in terms of word length this is 1500 words which is actually not that bad by any means and if you went ahead and copied over the raw html and pop that into our website then we our table of contents will actually work right so we can see that there's links included in there so the table of contents should go to each section of the specific article overall i'm pretty happy with this article so right off the bat i would say that this is a pretty decent article so let's go ahead and actually test the SEO score using Neuron Writer. And while that's being loaded up, I want to go over a couple of new things that I've been testing out with Claude. So Claude, as we all know, is really, really good. Things in which you can use, you can actually tell it to create, create an interactive chart in HTML based on the information um, of this article. And what Claude is going to do is it's actually going to go ahead and create um, some code of things in which you can visualize the information from this specific article. So this is really cool because 
we can then pop this code into our WordPress site and it just brings a new added element um, to our articles. And this is the type of stuff that Google loves. So for example, we have a nice chart here, best credit cards of 2024. We can see here that it is able to take that information. It's able to visualize that information much better than, you know, if we use a code interpreter on GPT-40, like this is awesome, right? Really, really good um, chart here. So what we can do here now, we can copy over the contents and all you would have to do is copy over the code and then you can embed that a beautiful chart into your website or into your blog post. As you can see, this is really, really well done. And it kind of just visualizes and makes it easy for you to see um, the contents of that article. So now that we have new and writer all loaded up, we're going to test the content. So first thing, what we're going to do is we're just going to assess our competitors. So I would deselect anything like Walmart or any major brands like Amazon. And now what we're going to do is we're going to copy over our content and head back over and we're going to paste it into new and writer. We're also going to generate a title and we're also going to generate a description. And as you can see, we're at a 58. I think it's because we didn't use our typical SEO prompts, which I would normally use, which is much longer. And that is because we were using the free, we were using the free uh, version of Claude and we have a limited amount of inputs and outputs. So if I were to use the full prompt, I probably would have gotten a much better score in terms of SEO, but I'm not entirely upset with this number. I could always go ahead and try to improve this. And keep in mind that this is a very, very competitive term. So that is probably why um, our, um, our score is a little bit lower because it's so competitive. You need to really optimize your content in terms of word count, in terms of um, headers, in terms of H1s, H2s, and so forth to really get a high score. Because again, this is a very, very competitive keyword. But overall, that is the process in which I would use to write articles for completely free. I didn't pay for any of these tools. I use Perplexity for free. I first did research to find information. Then I took that information and I popped that into Claude, the free version. And then I was able to generate a full article that's 1500 words. And I was also able to generate a chart that I can also embed into my articles. So that is the full process of using Claude and Perplexity AI. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I will leave links for both of these tools in the description below. Take care.